Hello, Malban here, and I'm going to talk about pie tracks because uh, pie tracks. Graham said I should do another brag video. So here it goes. This is the next brag video for pie tracks. Uh, I don't know, I, I think I've seen this menu before. Quite a lot happened since last time, at least uh, I think quite a lot happened. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to show you the working or more or less working stuff we did already. So, tail gunner, you've seen that before. Nonetheless, it changed a little bit because we now have some sounds and the display is a little bit better and everything. So, I'm going to just start again and play a little bit. <clears throat> As you can hear, there's sound. The sound is actually not emulated. Uh, there are discrete circuits uh, circuits inside the original machine which I'm not willing to emulate. These are Vectrex sounds I made or, or found and I just integrated them into the emulator upon so certain trigger points with, within the well, emulation. It's working quite good but yes you can see that. So. In my opinion, tail gunner more or less works correctly. Um, yeah, the shield actually should be displayed other way around, but uh, this will be done once we change the orientation of certain uh, emulators. Uh, I can do that via command line right now. Uh, perhaps I'll show you later, but uh, for tail gunner this is not important this is running right now at 50 hertz i can also change it to other hertz uh, numbers uh, the original game would be uh, 38 hertz once i find my mouse i can probably do that from the command line one moment uh, refresh 38 nope uh, that was the wrong command to type help so I know it myself. Uh, set refresh. Set refresh 38. So this is more or less the correct speed the the game is in uh, on the in the arcades. It's flickering a little bit. So for now I prefer actually to play it in uh, 50 hertz. You hear me typing and I type with left and it does not work well. Um, one moment please. Does not type. No. So this is now actually refreshing in uh, in 76 hertz. Uh, every frame is doubled. So this is actually the original speed with with uh, 76 hertz, uh, but the display due to the Vectrex is still a little bit uh, shaky because for whatever reason Vectrex works best with 50 hertz. Everything else in 50 hertz tends to shake a little bit. Uh, I don't know why that is, but it is so, and I haven't seen any program uh, doing otherwise. But this is, would actually be the correct speed of uh, Tail Gunner, as it was in the arcade. Okay, this was Tail Gunner. I'm going to switch back to buffer type 1 and refresh rate 50. So this is the Backtracks original display, so to say. Um, going back, this was the first game that's actually nearly perfect. Nearly, I would say. The second game, Asteroids, that we tackled, is also come quite a ways. Uh, this now refreshed in 60 hertz, therefore it shakes a little bit again. But uh, 60 hertz is for Asteroids, the original speed. So I actually, yeah, change it at that. Um, uh, oh, oh, this is focus, this is bad. I wanted to... darken it a little bit. But now it's 
Hmm. Ah, anyways. So, yes, this is um, Asteroids. This is the last one I actually played much around with. As you can hear, it now also features sound. The only uh, the sound also is not emulated uh, because uh, Asteroids 2 has a discrete sound circuit which I'm not going to emulate. Um, most sounds are actually quite okay, except any explosions. <laughs> the explosions, <laughs> I don't know, I have to look for them again or uh, create new ones or find someone who, who creates them for me, for, for me or for us. Uh, the game actually plays very well, but yeah. Uh, both tail gunner and asteroids display uh, do not have any slowdowns. They are emulated 100% the original speed for um, asteroids. This is true for most of the game, except you will see it now. This one here. This one slows down emulation or, or the display of the Vectrex. The Vectrex is not capable of displaying that many vectors. Um, yeah. So, these were the two games that worked nearly perfectly. Let me show you some games that already work very good. This is Battlezone. All games uh, that I will show you now do not feature sound yet. Um, you see this game shakes a little bit. This is due to the enemy in range. Um, because uh, at one time there are many vectors in the upper left and then it switches off and there are none vectors at the upper left. Since it's an analog system and Vectrex is not very... Hmm, no, because it's... It, it doesn't reset perfectly, so to say. Um, all other vectors are displayed a, a little fraction of a millimeter to one side if on the other side are many vectors printed, so to say. Um, we have to compensate for this enemies in range if there's not a displayed. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Uh, this is on my to-do list for some next time. But, well, as I said, I haven't done it yet. So the game itself is playable right now. I don't know if you see it. I'm playing with two joysticks. Um, the actually, I think <laughs> I don't know if you see it. I uh, no, you, you probably don't see it. Uh, one moment. Um, I, I see it now. I have changed the brightness settings. And right now, um, Battle Zone is very, very dark. Uh, you, you see there in front is this pyramid. You can barely make it out. Um, this is uh, this is some game code I changed just five minutes ago, and I haven't seen it. So uh, I'm going to change that back. Uh, no problem. You can certainly play that game. Uh, but the colors are a little, or the brightnesses are not perfect right now. Anyways, it, you can play it with two joysticks, like in the arcade, and it's very working very well. Next game. Um, Gyrex still works. Gravita is working, I think. might be a little bit small perhaps I have to change the settings oh, yeah, this. you can I position it a little bit to the up and make it big perhaps position it even more up so now this is ooh, oh, I'm going to into the yeah hmm. well this happens if you at the same time change the settings as the game runs. Um, I'm trying to the go to the 2000 point. 
system up here. I haven't got my glasses on and it's really tiny, the thing. I should have gotten that one too. Yeah, but anyways, I'm going out of bounds. Super bonus, yeah, zero. <laughs> uh, anyway, Gravita is working, also no sound. Um, next one, what have we got? Space Duel. Space Duel, I think this is working. You can, this is a, one or two player game. I chose now a one player game, but it's uh, also working in two player mode uh, with a second joystick. And and if I hit these damn things, I don't know if you know it, but this is actually a successor of Mindstorm, Mindstorm Deluxe. Well, you're floating around space and shooting garbage. This is what, what did I say? Asteroids. Did I say Mindstorm? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, this is working and uh, with two joysticks you can play it with two players like it's intended to and well no sound yet but otherwise working fine bam um, what else space you we just got that Luna Lander is actually um, no, to, is not working it starts off, but it crashes as soon as I press the start button. My personal uh, opinion is that it's probably the watchdog which is not timed correctly, but I don't know. I haven't looked into it yet. Black Widow, also a very nice game, is working except sound. Uh, I configured it thus that you can play with uh, two joysticks again. You can change the difficulties. I put the dip switches that way that you can change nearly all difficulty settings. I don't know until level 50 or something like that. Uh, I haven't found any button combination start or start two player or anywhere to uh, actually uh, speed up the intro screen. I don't think there is any. Um, the port one joystick you use to, to navigate and the port two joystick you use to shoot. So this is Black Widow and I suck at it, I know it. Uh, actually, I'm too dumb to handle two joysticks at the same time, if, if, if I'm honest. I can't do that very, oh, oh I should have, ah, okay. I haven't got my glasses on, uh, I have to say, because I'm I'm looking at my iPhone right now and it is right in front of my nose. <laughs> the Vectrex is not. So forgive me if I play absolutely horrible. Ah, okay. I think that was my last life, wasn't it? Oh, no. Oops. Shoot, shoot down. Uh, Black Widow is actually a color game originally as you can see I've tried to emulate the colors using different uh, intensities uh, looks quite nice most of the time actually but that is the reason why uh, Battlezone is not displayed perfectly any longer <laughs> oops <laughs> Oh, anyway, this is Black Widow. What else have we got? Uh, Tempest is not working. Uh, Asteroids. This is another version of Asteroids, but this is uh, more or less broken too. 
Uh, this deluxe asteroids. This is actually working and playable, but uh, I think in the emulation is still something wrong because uh, the all vectors are well displayed open. I don't know how else I should call it. Uh, it does not look nice. I would not uh, say that it is working correctly. Rip off. Uh, yeah, this is the first test of Graham for a Cinematronics emulator. Uh, rip off is just an example. Uh, I, I can start it. I, I think you cannot play it. it it's just. Uh, uh, a proof of concept that the cinematronics emulators are working so uh, there's not much there yet but well this is the cinematronics emulator running and it's running good um, there has to be some more fine-tuning um, there I think that was all Red Baron is not working haven't tried it yet Okay, then we, we've got all. The Vectrex Direct has not changed. They haven't done anything with it. Vectrex emulator either. So this is the actual Pytrex stuff I wanted to show you. What I can show you now, this is my actual terminal program, which is quite bright and you cannot see. Um, so I, can I configure it that you see both? don't think so. <laughs> Ah, it's really hard. Anyway, I'm going to start my uh, battle zone, just as an example. You can see now my terminal. And I said before that I wanted to examine the ROMs more closely. I have not been able to find a disassembly of battle zone, for example. But uh, actually, the Pytrax Vectrex interface by now is able to well give clues to what we are actually doing. Uh, there are quite a few command line commands. Here you see them all listed. I'm going to press BM. BM uh, or oh, I enter BM is for browse mode. Now I can browse through all. This is my finger actually. Uh, through all uh, vectors and give out information about them so I'm interested in the hmm, uh, you don't see my finger but uh, in the upper left uh, they are the enemy in range things stay so what I'm going to do you see right the copyright sign uh, down in the Atari this is the first vector which is displayed and you can see it um, here Um, the first vector to be displayed must first, uh, the first thing in the round is that its brightness is set to 48. Then we must move from point zero to point minus 5,000 something, minus 13,000 something. The coordinates actually go from uh, about 20,000 to minus 20,000 with zero coordinates being the center of the screen. So we go down and a little bit to the left. Uh, this is uh, information for me that the uh, Y coordinate must be set uh, and that the A register must be set and the MUX, MUX must be set and so on. And then actually the drawing starts. This is what PL draw uh, stands for. And the coordinates uh, we draw is from 0 to 560 with a strength of 8. So this is actually, this is X, Y coordinates. Uh, this is just straight up. This is from the, I don't know, from the copyright sign. The first vector is just straight up. And it's drawn with a, a advanced vector generator, gener generator, wow, uh, AVG with a, a position counter at A to 4 and so on. These are the registers. And uh, this is all the information I can give for actually every vector that I'm on, uh, that I display. Now I'm going to enhance through all this stuff here. Uh, I think the enemy in range is, I don't know, quite at the, oh no, there it is. I can go previous and so this is 
the first stroke of the E. So this is uh, the uh, uh, vector generator uh, position B5. This means that all 